Yeah, what do you want? What? You think I don't have... With Terrace gone, I wonder who the Sith will turn on next. I still haven't heard a final figure on how many people died on Terrace. you want? I don't have a lot of time for talk, so please, make it quick. Of course, I always have time for a pretty face. Any face, really. What do you need? I repair the sand crawlers when they return from the mines. They get pretty banged up, even without the attacks. The sand people attack them pretty regularly. Zerka Corporation is getting pretty sick of it, I hear. They've offered bounties on sand people for a while now, but few hunters take them up on it. Too dangerous. Try at the Zerka offices, right here. They'd know. Oh, the big crawlers head out at dawn. That's so they avoid the bigger predators. The raid, I mean. Doesn't help avoid the sand people, though. They attack pretty regular, no matter what Zerka Corporation tries. Well, it's a hole in the galaxy as far as I'm concerned. I doubt this outpost will last much longer. But that's happened before and will happen again. Anchorhead has been resettled a few times now. Well, Tatooine fools people. It looks like it might have a good supply of resources, but it doesn't. Before a company learns this, they've already set up communities to support operations they now can't afford. Company pulls out, cities dry up. And after a few years, someone that doesn't know why it failed, tries again. No one is. I guess it looked like a promising mining planet, but the metal... I tell you, it just isn't right. I've been a mechanic my whole life. I've never seen anything corrode as fast as Tatooine metal. It's why whoever was here before left. And why Zerka will leave. And why whoever comes next will leave. All right, then. Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Oh, my God. 
You never know what the Sith will do. Look at Terrace. Was there any reason for what happened there? Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, a fully functional Sizetech Corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query, would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. Refusal. It is not desirable for me to reveal core functions while still in the possession of Yukalaka, prospective purchaser. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst, and I am also proficient in personal combat. Explanation. It is rare for a droid to resist an owner in this way. Doubtless the Athorian considers my stubbornness an embellishment to add interest to a seemingly mundane protocol droid. Explanation. I have been recently fitted with a restraining bolt, if you must know. With it in place, access to much of my memory core is restricted. Not to mention that the fool Ithorian might raise his asking price if he knew more, or make inquiries into my history. Neither outcome is beneficial to me. Assurance. I am fully autonomous, but lack resources. I will grant loyal service in exchange for proper maintenance. As well, it is rare that I am able to utilize my full array of abilities. You seem likely to give me the opportunity to do so. Extrapolation. You are no farmer or diplomat. You are armed and comfortable as such. We will mesh well. Statement. Indeed, it is possible that the Athorian placed the restraining bolt on me to prevent my return to a previous owner. It is also possible that the removal of the bolt will not restore memory functions. Without my memory, I do not know if I know the answer. Do not interpret this as a reduction of my worth, however. My capabilities are quite expansive. Assurance. I am as well. Extrapolation. Objection. My functions are wasted here, prospective purchaser. I will answer your queries, but I assure you, I am better utilized elsewhere. Answer. With the restraining bolt in place, I do not have access to my memory core. I suspect, however, by the fine quality of my manufacturer, that they are a prestigious company indeed. I suspect I am of unique construction, or perhaps I was intended for a very specific customer. How I ended up here, I can hardly say. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst, and I am also proficient in personal combat. Objection. My fun... Statement. The fool Lithorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed, and 
son out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Advisement. I have observed him. He is a coward and will be responsive to aggressive bargaining. Statement. I wish only to be purchased and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic. I have no desire to be subtle. Qualification. Oh, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you, should you purchase me, please. Basilisks were always much more reliable than the stuff you see in the Republic or Sith Empire. on a whim like it is some toy. The dark side dwells in us all, but you cannot give in to your baser instincts like this. Oh, <laughs> 
Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? Answer. Indeed. I am most eager to engage in some unadulterated violence. At your command, of course, Master. Statement. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate use of my primary functions. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation.
Your wish? Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but not all. Qualification. I suspected that it might, Master, but without memory, I had no way of knowing whether or not I knew that was true. Qualification. Uh, not so much, Master. I spoke out of ignorance. I assume the Athorian was responsible for my memory loss. That does not mean I am not a fully loyal droid willing to serve its master. Right, Master? Answer. There have been numerous repairs and tampering made to my system, Master. Several systems are not operating as they should be. The fact that my memory is incomplete may be due to meatbag incompetence, or something else I am unaware of. Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, Master, but anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. Answer. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at repair is required. The deeper functions of my core memory, however, would still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I am unaware of any program existence to do so. Conjecture. There may be hidden programming that awaits certain conditions to reactivate my memory core, Master, but there is no way to know. It is quite possible that tampering has simply erased my core permanently. If that is so, a meat bag will surely pay. Answer. Simply tell me that you wish to make the attempt, Master, and I will attempt to walk you through it. Please do be careful. Observation. 
I am sure you are aware of the majority of my skills, Master. I can handle various sorts of heavy weaponry with ease. My physical abilities are well above those of your average meatbag, as are my sensor functions. An assassin, if you would. Caution, shh, Master. Such a function in a droid is highly illegal. Commentary. Good, for I would truly hate to be turned into spare scrap, Master. That would be a waste of my genius engineering. Answer. My assassination functions are currently non-functional, having been deactivated by the meatbag Yukalaka on Tatooine. Were they functional, you as my master would be able to specify a target, and I would operate independently to the best of my ability to terminate it. Answer. Not that I know of, Master. I still possess all my normal combat and stealth abilities, however. Answer. Some of my motor functions I have safe. Answer. You may attempt the deeper function conjecture. Answer. Sit. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well-crafted to perish at the hands of ineptitude. Negatory. Uh, no, Master. You are not a droid, however, and therefore your skills are limited by the physical capabilities of your meatbag extremities, or some such. Appeasement. Yes, Master. Of course, Master. Could we begin? Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. And now rewire the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have restored a great deal of information about my previous owner, Master. Would you like to hear it? Recitation. The earliest memory of my last owner specifies that he was human, a low-ranking commercial officer for SizeTech Corporation. I am unaware of his designation. He purchased me from an acquaintance I cannot identify for the purposes of protocol and bodyguard duties. That previous owner is part of memories that are still deleted, Master. It is customary for droids' memories to be wiped when it is sold. Answer. Negative, Master. The human was terminated by this HK-47 unit prior to system shutdown. Explanation. My former master had owned me for a duration of two standard months before discovering my assassination protocol. He was pleased by the discovery. The human informed me that a competitor corporation was preparing to market a product that would ruin him personally. He was most agitated. He activated my assassination protocol and instructed me to kill all those responsible for the competing product. I proceeded to carry out my order. Information. This HK-47 unit is complete with protocol that, when invoked, will set me to independently carry out a termination. I will go to whatever lengths, travel whatever distances are required to complete the termination. This is the reason for my combat skills. Advisement. Unfortunately, the assassination protocol is currently non-functional. You will not be able to activate it. Answer. Several of my actuators were damaged by my former owner. They cannot be repaired, Master. Sad though that is. My former Master was unaware of this, but the competitor was in fact an arm of SizeTech Corporation, my Master's own employer. It did not take long for my Master to realize his mistake. By then, I had already terminated 104 corporate officers. Answer. 
Observation. While it may have been unintentional, my master's wording of his orders left little room for me. SizeTech was responsible for the product, after all. I do not know why my master was so upset with really. me. He was an officer of SizeTech and a potential target, but I cannot terminate my own master. I would assume that being the sole officer remaining, he would surely be promoted. Instead, however, the human chose to go insane with rage and attack me. Objection? Naturally not, Master. As I said, I am incapable of purposefully terminating my owner. That would not be allowed. My master was not a smart man, however. While he was screaming and stabbing me with a writing utensil, he managed to pierce one of my actuators. The resulting shock terminated him and sadly destroyed my assassination protocol. Pure luck on his part, I suspect. Statement. I was only doing as I was told, Master. I would have told the human the proper codes to deactivate my protocol, had he asked. I shut down immediately whenever my master dies. I can only assume that while I was shut down, Size Tech was dismantled and I was auctioned off as former corporate property. Observation. No doubt my sale price was quite cheap, leading to Yukalaka's purchase. How very demeaning. Assessment. I do not believe so, Master. It would require complete dismantlement of my chassis. A most involved procedure. Statement. How could they? The vast majority of the officers had already been terminated. They likely assumed I was mere chattel. I have recovered knowledge of some other actuators which will enhance my performance, Master. I will activate them now. But as for my own history, negative. It will require further effort on your part to restore them, if you wish. Though certain stimuli could always restore my core still, as I explained. For now, please excuse me, Master. I wish to meditate upon the face of my former meatbag master as he was electrocuted. I find it most soothing. Pada pongwale ganduna gumu chuk chuk. Query, is the miniature organic implying falsehood? Shall I blast it, master?
Well, a fresh face for the game. I wonder, would you care to play? My name is Furco Nellis. My vice is Pazak. Ah, I'm sure you do, but I won't have answers. I leave other people to their business, and they leave me to mine. Really, you'll have to seek information elsewhere, but if you want some recreation, I've cards ready to play. Must I? An opinion would draw attention to myself. The Sith have shown what happens to things that draw their attention. <laughs> Very good. Would you care to wager on a game? Well, since you have never beaten me, we'll make this for a paltry 50 credits. No bargaining now. This is serious. To be fair, I'll use my practice deck as well. I don't want to scare you off, you understand. Haha, <laughs> very good. Now, don't worry if I beat you too harshly. It is a learning experience. Would you like to have another round of... I don't want to sour you on the game. Perhaps another small... Well, since you have to be...
Would you like to have another round of Pazak? I mean, I don't want to say that it was beginner's luck, but you should play again to truly get a feel for the game. Hmm. You have some rudimentary skills. I think I'll use my second best deck this time and up the stakes. 200 credits will be the wager. I trust you will have the money on hand. You won't be so eager. Would you like to have another round of Pazak? It's only fair, after all, you have... All right. But remember that there isn't much fun on Tatooine that isn't life-threatening. Hello again. It's only... Well, you have proven quite the... I usually only use this deck at tournaments, but I think you're worthy of it. Yes, well then, 500 credits on the line.
Would you like to have another round of Pazak? However, you'll understand if we don't have any wagers. I... I respect your ability too much to insult you by betting on you losing. Stop by... Ah, it's you again. Truly. However, you'll understand if we... Very good. Just for the sport of it? That's, uh, all I can afford. Would you like to have another round? However, you'll understand. Something, eh? Ask around. Stop by and... Something you want, Spacer. Go talk to the office if you want to complain about conditions here. I don't want to hear it. Seems like every other person I meet is complaining about something. Well, it's not going to get better, so leave me alone. I don't really have any interest in helping you. Will this be quick? Like I said before, I don't much care what you think. I'll be on the street if business keeps dropping, and it will. All right, then. Nobody we've bought, that's for sure. Our expert said this rock was supposed to have mining potential to last for years. Nothing but garbage or good for nothing. You ever try to sell someone garbage? My name's Mud in three systems now. Good. Go to the Zerko offices if you want a job. I'm off duty. Eh, who are you then? Only new people that come to Junix Nard's Cantina are long-time losers and bounty hunters. I don't have to tell you why the two don't mix well. Please keep any blaster fire to a minimum. Zerka Corporation only worries about keeping their own stores full. I don't have much on hand.
Uchu a Penki, Tony Tuamaji, Kakin Chan, Nawa Bagaon, Bagua.
Thank you. 